Yo, 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 what is going on, ladies and gents? It is your boy here, I'm Owen. In today's video, I've got some more news and I've got some more leaks for you guys. Stay tuned. And before we jump into the video, make sure you've hit the subscribe button, you've dropped a like, and uh, you're fully supporting. In today's video, I will be showing you some leaked images and screenshots sent to me by the developer Steve. So I hope you enjoy this one, guys. I'm going to run through quite a few images with you, including the scopes for the weapons, the repelling system, and some little bits of information that have been sent to me from the developers themselves. Okay, before we actually jump into this video, I just want to say a huge uh, thank you to everybody sending positive messages on my last video. Like I said last video, I will be doing a daily shout out on my videos to a lucky subscriber on my channel. So this one goes to Eski, basically with a comment that says, Why does IMO videos make me excited, especially when he makes vids on Strike Team and how it's going to replace Area F2? Thank you so much. I love your vids. Keep it up, G, with a love heart. Man, I love reading this positive energy, so thank you so much for the positive comment there, guys. And uh, if you want to be featured in tomorrow's video, just leave a nice positive comment and you might be featured. So, anyways, guys, let's jump back into the video. Okay, let's start it off with the banger. So, we're going to be talking about the repel system within the game. So, on screen right now, an image should be appearing, which will be the repel system. So the image basically just shows us that the repel system has been added to the game and it looks pretty pretty slick to me. So on screen you'll be seeing you know somebody climbing up the wall here with a UMP. You can see that the game looks a lot more smoother by just looking at it. It looks a lot more appealing to the eye. So I'm very excited to see what this repel system will look like when I get to use it myself. So at the moment we can only see images where there's no videos or anything like that. So here is another image, ladies and gents, of the repel system. So it's just a basic rope that goes up to the top of the roof. So I'm not too sure if it's going to be a repel gun. Um, I, you know, there are there are a couple of us that have been requesting that they do like a, a throwing animation, like a grapple hook animation that you chuck it on top of the building. I think that would be quite unique. I really hope that they bring some sort of feature like this to the game. Another part of this image I want to show you is down the bottom right, above the fire button, um, just to the left of that, you can see the repel button itself. So by the looks of it, the repel button will only appear when you are eligible to repel. So something similar that we saw in Area F2 was you couldn't just like press the random button or the button wouldn't just be there irritating you for no reason so it will only appear when you can use the repel so this is going to be the next image here that i'll be showing you guys and that is basically somebody on the wall this is what they're going to pretty much look like when they're on the wall um you know there's not really much to talk about in this image but there's a person that is vertical on the wall pretty much so ladies and gents just take, bear in mind, you know, there's not many developers developing this game. So for them to be adding as many features as I have leaked to you in the last couple of days, it's absolutely amazing. You know, there's no company behind this. There is literally three developers. And one of those developers are not even a game developer. They're just more of a cybersecurity. So there's two main developers. So this is just fantastic, man. We, you know, all I want to do is appreciate the developers for doing this for us but remember ladies and gents if you've got any issues with whatever i'm showing you thinking you know it's not amazing or it's not as good as you want it to be you don't need to worry because once we start pumping ourselves into the game once we start downloading the game leaving good reviews and the more people that successfully play the game the more money the developers will earn, which then can be put back into the game to upgrade the game even more over time, add more features. They will be listening to you. I know that they've been watching my videos lately and they have been reading your comments. So try not to be too negative, guys, but they are listening to, to the community. They're listening to us content creators, which is huge for a game because this is what any game should be doing. One thing that Area F2 did never do, and that was basically listen to their community. So before we jump into the scopes that I'm about to show you within the game, I just want to show you a couple of comments which has been said to me by the developers. So this is more leaks again here. So first one is this one here. I've done working on a new audio system. It'll be better in the next update. 
This is absolutely fantastic news, ladies and gents. If you have played the alpha, which I have told you not to judge the game from, because this new update is a new revamped version of the game, then you will know that the audio is very low quality, very used in most games. It's like a similar audio system that's used in most games that are developed by, you know, normal people. So Steve has gone out of his way to design us a new audio system, which is going to sound a lot better and more high quality. Also to add to this, he has also added a dedicated prone button. He's also added a sprint lock joystick. So if you guys are not familiar with a, a lock joystick, um, for example, with Call of Duty Mobile or PUBG Mobile, if you push up on the joystick, there will be like a little button that you can lock it in so it auto sprints for you. This feature is now being added to the game. Then lastly is this one here. He's going to change the barricade design and add some hatches. So ladies and gents, I cannot leak any of the new designs to you yet. But I have, I well, I can confirm I have seen the new hatch. And it looks very, very good. Completely different to what you're used to on Rainbow Six Siege or Area F2. It's a brand new kind of design and the textures are completely different. So, excuse me, lawsuit. Go away. Okay, ladies and gents, we are now to the final part of the video. We will be discussing the scopes in the game. So firstly, let's take a look at the pistol sights. So Steve has confirmed these three right here. Pistols will include iron sights, RMR sights, and mini reflex sights. Unfortunately, I haven't got any print screens or screenshots of these pistol sights, but I have got some screenshots of the, you know, the assault rifles and the SMG sights and the LMGs and the sniper rifles. So let's jump straight over to the good stuff here. Within the other weapons that I just mentioned, which are not pistols, you will be, you know, excited to know that there will be iron sights. So on screen right now, there's iron sights, EOTEX sights, Vortex hollow sights, red dot sights, OKP reflex sights, micro T1 sights, um, aim point sights, PKA optic sights, an AUG ACOG, an ALCAN, an ACOG hybrid, and a sniper scope. So ladies and gents, there's quite a lot to choose from. So I'm going to show you now what the scopes are going to look like and what the menu will look like when you're customizing your weapon. First things first is this one here, Micro T1 scope. It's pretty much like a, like an ACOG kind of scope. I'm not too sure there. Looks very clean. The second one I'm going to show you will be this one here, the Alcan Sight. So again, it's just another kind of ACOG kind of scope. These scopes are going to be pretty much personal preference. So third one is this one here, the ACOG hybrid scope, which potentially looks like it's going to be my favorite one. This one looks like it's going to be more of the, the ACOG that we was more familiar with in Area F2. So who knows? But guys, just a quick one. I'm not too sure if all of these sites are going to be available in the CQB, CQB mode. So I need to confirm that. Hopefully I can get you that information for next video. Next scope here then is going to be the sniper scope, guys. Um, looks very, very juicy to be quite honest. Not much I want to talk about here, but let's jump onto the next one. So we got three more scopes. This one is going to be the next one. Vortex hollow sight. It looks completely different to what I'm used to seeing in any other FPS game. It looks quite fancy to be quite honest with you. Last but not least will be the OKP Reflex Sight. So this one we are familiar with in Call of Duty as it has just been added to their loadouts. So this one is a very nice scope. Oops, my bad guys. We got one more here and it's going to be the RPM Sight, which is probably going to be one of the most used sights. It's more of a red dot sight. Very open ADS space um, and field of view space. So this one looks quite good. So I hope you enjoyed this video, ladies and gents. Um, hopefully I can get you another video out tomorrow or the day after with some more leaks. I want to try and get some gameplay for you guys as well because I'm very excited to see it for myself. And guys, I've got a huge announcement, which I cannot say yet, but it's coming and it's something to do with me and something to do with Strike Team Online. So... Yeah, just, just stay tuned for that one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And thank you again for being here. Make sure you've subscribed. Take it easy. I'll see you soon.